Hello traders, it's Tomek here from Nico Trading Academy and we welcome in my weekly Forex forecast. Uh, finally, um, market started to move. Last week was really good to trade for us. Uh, before I start my weekly forecast, I would like to share one of our members' uh, journal uh, because he, um, he did really well last week. So I just want to show you that if you follow your trading plans and for you uh, follow your rules and you monitor what you do definitely you will get a profits yes um of course last week was really good because we have a lot of volatility but this is how we would like to trade if market is not giving us anything if we have ranges or unclear moves we just simply wait and you wait for days or weeks uh like for example last uh, last week uh, so this is his journal uh so as you see first pair new zealand dry yen uh he took of course late and en uh, entry with his strategy and after some period of the range uh you will see that that price just uh went up so he is just managing uh the last slot yes the bonus slot uh, so uh, he closed it with uh, with some profits. You see, up to 330 peps. So really, really great, uh, great trade. And another option on the GP US dollar. And, uh, and uh, another long trade. I will just uh, be fast. As you see, he entered here. His stop loss was here, and uh, his uh, target is here, so far away. But definitely, he will manage this. And you see, this was first option he, which he took on the m24 settings on the rankers and then price went up hit his targets and right now he's trailing his uh bonus slots uh this is a continuation as you see even even higher yes everything went went up in his di direction uh this is new zealand uh, swiss franc another trade yes after our rules rules trendline breakout first entry uh new zealand swiss franc and we see again this time it, he took it on the uh m12 or m6 and entry here stop loss here price uh went up targets were hit and as you see later on yes this was his entry price went far away he could even manage this uh stop loss a little bit faster but uh, this is his strategy yes so uh and this is dax um, also higher settings, we see 240 and uh, entry, and then price went up, and again winning trade. Yes, uh, and later on he was able to catch really, really this uh, big move uh, on DAX. So, so well, well, well done on this USD cut. I think this is the last trade. Uh, also a little bit late, but uh, still, if we have vol uh, volatility, if we have nice setups, everything nice, smooth. You see, this was the retracement entry uh, here. And again, uh, winning trade. Yes, he trailed his stop loss here. So again, he just wait and see how trade is going in uh, his way. And I think this is uh, uh, this is the uh, the end of, of this. Yeah. Uh, so you see, if we have weeks uh, like last week, we can easily uh, make a lot of uh, profit trades. And um, but like I said, trading plan, simple strategy, um, and just follow this. Yes, just follow, follow, and monitor your mistakes, and trading will be will be uh, much easier. Uh, I will also show you Euro Yen trade. I don't have screenshots, but some of our traders took it also and went went up really nice. Um, but first, let's check uh, what we have. Uh, first uh, is Aussie Yen. If we look for the weekly chart, uh, like always, yes, higher time frames, we are on the resistance currently. And what we see, I know uh, if you remember, but we discussed situations that price might bounce on the 36 and will continue to go down, or after breakout, we might have bigger retracements or even possible trend changes. So right now, price bro broke the 36 CMA and also broke our weekly trend line. So this might be called that, okay, maybe we'll have trend change and price will, will go up, yes. Uh, we have resistance also here. So in case if price would like to continue, we have another possible 300 pip uh, move, yes. So everything is on the place let's go to lower time frames this is our daily trend line which was broken 
so let's pay at, let's try to find any trend lines on the daily chart. We have trend line like this. So what we would like to do is to wait for the uh, retracement back to the 36 EMA, back to the trend line, and then uh, we go and look for buys. Yes. Target, of course, uh, here, and the next one will be here. This is, uh, I guess, if I can say, conservative way to trade uh, with the main direction uh, here. For our chart, we can still look for lower time frame entries after retracement back to the 4 hour 36 EMA. Uh, we have trend line here, it's far away, so we don't need this right now, but we will need uh, soon, I will show you, because we can also look for that trades against main direction. But if we trade with main direction, this is idea, we trace them back to 36 and then continuation of this up move to target the previous highs. Of course, this is late entry. So we would like to combine this with lower time frames. Because we are on the resistance on the daily chart and we have enough room for retracements, we can also say, okay, let's try to catch some retracements. Yeah? Uh, right now we are on the good situation because price is in the small range and we have 30, 36 EMA, which is our next target at like 120 pips. So what we can do, we, we will say, okay, right now we are in this range. So if we have breakout of this range, we start to look for the short entries and for a possible re, uh, retracement. Of course, if you get breakout of the highs, you can still look for longs, but lower time frames because again, we are in the uh, we are late yes so so that's why only lower time frame so if we would like to take short entries our target is for our 36 cma then our target is uh this for our trend line and of course as a final target we can use okay a daily 36 plus uh 36 uh, sorry daily trend line plus 36 uh ema then if you see that price is for example i don't know it's uh bouncing yes here we look for buys again like we explained also here if we see the price is retracing this and we have reaction and price would like to go up you look for buys yes you close your short uh, entries and you look for buys uh, next is euro new zealand uh, if we start from the weekly chart we'll see that we are around the support zone uh, here another support area is a little bit lower somewhere uh, around this zone. And of course, next one will be here, but it's uh, still, we have this one and then we will have another one. Uh, trend lines, we can check if we have something just, yeah, we have this, yeah. So this is this is nice trend line, which we have uh, here. In the middle, we'll also find support zone, but it will come from the daily chart, not, not from the weekly, yeah. Uh, so we have here, now we if we go to daily chart if we adjust a little bit our line we'll have that so what what we can do we can still say okay we wait for the retracement back to 36 we look for short entries again as a continuation our daily trend line uh, will be here more or less yes so what we can say okay retracements and again short entries if we have retracement from this our target is, of course, this support level. After breakout, we can target trend line and the next uh, support area here. Um, for our chart, exactly the same. We wait for the retracement to the four hour chart 36 CMA, and then we start to look for short entries to target this uh, support zone. So only lower time frames. But because we are on the support and we have around 300, almost 400 peps uh, ret possible retracement to our trend line. We have enough room to 36, which also might be like 200 or 180. We can trade it against main direction to first target 36 and then daily level. Yeah, so again, what we will need to see is one hour, one to three here. Yes, above the 36 CMA, we can look for buys. Or if you, for example, see like double bottom, Yes, you can also try, okay, ag aggressively, you can try to look for buys, stop loss uh, below, yeah? So this is this is what we can do here. If you like to trade, of course, against main direction. If not, wait for the retracement and look for uh, short entries. Uh, if you see that price is breaking this support, right now we see that we have those sm small tiny candle, but candles, but if you see that price is breaking, it's staying 
below, just look for the one to trees and look also for short entries with continuation of this of this move. Euro dollar. Uh, finally, we have it. Um, what we what we get on the weekly is this resistance. Another resistance is higher. Again, uh, euro dollar is uh, difficult to draw because we have a lot of false breakout, a lot of spikes. But at least we have this. Uh, we see that price broke 36 EMA. And for this period, it might be really trend change that we might go up, yes? If we pay attention, we were on the really low place uh, on the euro dollar after, after you know, this, this, this whole drop here. Uh, on the monthly chart, it started to look like a higher low. So really, maybe we'll get uh, some breakouts. Of course, this is monthly chart. We still have this monthly trend line. So maybe we'll get just this retest and price will continue to go down and we will stay in this zone. And as long as we won't have breakout of those two areas, we will not have any trend change. Yes, we will see. Uh, right now, of course, this is monthly, so we don't need to pay too much attention to this uh, because we trade, of course, on the lower uh, time frames. So what we have on the daily, uh, let me unzoom a little bit to see. Yeah, this is OK. So we still have something to go up. We also have the, this previous spike. Um, definitely, right now, uh, if we would like to trade with main direction trend line, uh, we need to see retracement. Then we start to look for buys. First, the goal will be this resistance. Then, of course, next ones. Uh, we have also this this trend line, not so nice yet, but close to 36. So after retracement, back to this, you buy. Uh, for our chart, exactly the same, but uh, even if we are on the resistance, this is like, uh, you know, this might be break, false breakout. We still have uh, room for another one. So if you get retracement back to 36 EMA, then you look for the entries on the five minute chart or one minute chart. Yes, after uh, retracement back to 36. Um, this is also our trend line. So maybe we'll have a little bit deeper retracement back to this trend line. It's not clean line because we have only touches here and one spike here. Uh, but if you get retracement to this and you will see, okay, price is bouncing, again, you look for buys. Another option for more aggressive traders, uh, against trades against main direction. To 4 hour 36 CMA, we have like 50 pips more or less. So not big deal. Uh, so right now we need to wait for the lower time frames, and we might get first option, yes. And we look for this, but this will be aggressive. This this could be also false breakout, yes. And you might get set up, and you will be kicked out because price will continue to go up. So if you would like to treat like this, uh, you can also say, okay, I know that this is aggressive. Let me delete this support zone, yes. I know that this is aggressive, uh, but I previously I had this this range here, yes. So right now I have breakout of this. Okay, I have new lower low. Yeah? So if I get that, I can look for uh, short entries definitely. If you if this is false breakout, because you see here you you can see situation that price will stay below, but on the higher time frames, like one hour chart, you will see only spike and then that price will re, uh, reverse. So if price reverse and continue to go up, you can again uh, look for buys, entries, but after breakout of this, yeah? So if this is losing trade, okay, so what? This is only one thing. Uh, you wait for, for this, yes? If you see that price will continue in this range, of course, you will wait again for some breakouts of this uh, area, yes? Of course, if you are not interested in any short entries here, wait for the retracement, look for buys. GPN, uh, what we have, we have the resistance zone. Price is right now on this area. Another level, it's quite, mm, this might be, this This comes from the daily chart, definitely, but there uh, there is level. Weekly chart will be, will be here, yeah, so we have, Still another 250, 600, so there is still room to go. 
Um, no trend lines right now. Uh, if we if we look for trend line, I would just leave this line. We have three touches on this trend line, so it's still it's still uh, price must break first this one. So uh, we 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 can leave it. We also can draw this line yes here. So this will be with the resistance level. Yeah, this will be with the resistance. Let's see if we, if we uh, let me just. Try to draw it here. Yeah. So we see right now we have reaction. Yeah. So we have re uh, resistance, everything. So this is good area um, to look for short bounce entries and target daily 36 EMA, definitely. Uh, but we can still look for possible continuation. Yes. Uh, right now we see that price, yeah, made like a false breakout. And this was good option to start to look for short entries. Right now we have this spike. So it's not obvious that we will get this uh, retracement. We also can draw this trend line, but it's too far away. No other lines, yeah, only this. But this comes from the one hour chart. So if we go to one hour time frame, you will see that right now price is holding on this trend line. And so if you would like to trade against main direction, of course, yes. And then you look for sell entries, your goal, four hour 36 CMA, and of course, then. For our trend line, this is by, by the way daily trend line, yes, and then and then your daily trend line, which is here, yeah. Um, if you see that price is breaking highs, yes, is breaking highs, you can start to look for buys. I wouldn't trade right now in this area here. This is too aggressive because we are on the resistance. We are on the trend line. We uh, might have a lot of false breakout. Yeah? So I will simply wait. Okay, if I would like to trade. With main direction breakout, trade against main direction breakout of of that yes, or another option uh, for our chart retracements yes, and then again long entries to target this, and then maybe in the next resistance yes. So this is what we have on the GPN, uh, New Zealand yen. Um, like you see, all pairs, not all of them, but uh, those pairs are connected with the yen, but we also have. Uh, we also have moves on other pairs. Uh, we have resistance. We have another resistance up here. Uh, do we have trend line? Yes, we have. So this is also good. Good pair. Yes, you see. We are on the resistance plus trend line next resistance just to find uh, this might be something here yeah something here on on the weekly chart so we still still have room yeah to the next resistance 150 to another one even almost 500 pip yeah uh so we are on the trend line weekly trend line weekly resistance level so what we can say okay again retracement back to the daily 36 ema last uh, all um, previous my live trading rooms in in our members area we were discussing this uh, this range and finally price broke it and and, and went up so you see this was a area where we we had volatility because this this range was around 200 pip but no clean direction anymore yes and finally if we have direction of course we can say okay i wait for the retracement Yes, like in this case, I wait for a retracement to the daily 36. I look for buys, yes. Or I look for short entries because I have good area and I trade in the retracement to target daily 36 EMA. Yes, so again, for our chart, uh, same, same, same story, guys. Yes, we wait for the retracement back to the 36. Then we look for continuation of the uptrend. Uh, lower time frame entries target this uh, zone. Uh, let's tr let's find trend line because I didn't draw anything. Yeah. Also here, yes. Maybe to a 36 or a little bit deeper retracement back to the trend line, and look for buys. Yes. So those are the levels for possible buys. Or, yeah. Right now, price is struggling on the really powerful level. Yeah, so what we can say, okay, trade against main direction to target four hour 36 EMA uh, and then trend line and then daily 36 or break after breakout, you look for the late entries 
uh, for buys. Yeah, but the level to look for short entries is is good. Yes, uh, remember that trade against main direction is always a trickier. Yes, uh, so lower your risk. This is the only line which we can draw, but. No, line is not important because we have a range anyway. So we need to have breakout of the 36 and this range. Yeah? So manage trade fast and lower your risk because um, sometimes we have false breakouts and price is still continue to go to go up. But this is price if we trade against main uh, direction. Yes. And the final is gold. Uh, what we have is this is monthly chart. Uh, but it will be easier to draw resistance. This is resistance area. Uh, so price almost touched this zone, almost. So we still can have this, and then maybe bigger retracements. But we are already in the resistance area. Yes, we know that the market is not perfect. Yes, so this is always a zone. Always zone, not 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 the line, but area. Um, trend lines on the weekly chart. One is here, which is far away right now. Another one we can draw close to 36. Not perfect one, but this is what we have. Uh, so what we have on the daily price was in the range here right now. Uh, it's breaking our 36 EMA. It's breaking this line and also if we can draw this line, yes. Uh, so what we can say, we can look for short entries and try to trade in the retracement. The one small thing which we have here is support area, which we can find around this zone. Yes, next one will be lower. Next one will be somewhere around this. Yeah, so we see that we are on the support, but of course it's not a problem for us to trade as long as we know what we do. Um, and we manage our risk, yeah? This is our um, trend line from the daily chart. I MT4 is not good to draw anything. Uh, yeah, this is our trend line. So what we can say, okay, you wait for the retracement back to 36. And then you start to look for short entries on the lower time frames target this or even right now yes retracement back to 12 look for the lower time frames and target this support support zone yes uh, yeah so this is what we have yes this we have one hour 36 cma right now retracement yes so if this area holds if if you get some bounces some breakouts uh, this will be your uh, option to go short, yes? To go this, or you look for this, yeah? And this is your this is your target. Uh, if price, of course, breaks this trend line, I wouldn't go long because we still have 36 on the four-hour chart, yes? So price might continue and then will uh, will bounce. So still, uh, okay to look for short entries. Um, but if, if price breaks the 36 EMA on the four hour chart, which is, uh, we also have four hour chart resistance um, area uh, here, uh, a little bit higher here. Yeah? We have, uh, so I'm not sure exactly. Um, I cannot tell you what to do if price breaks the 36 right now, because I need to see a uh, breakout and how price behaves. But also, if, if price holds this area, I think you can still focus on the short end entries because previously we had false breakouts. As you see, previously we had trend line, price broke it, false breakout, and then went down again. So it makes this trend line, which might respect again together with the resistance, this might be good uh, zone. Yes, if price, of course, breaks this, you can look for buys try to target this resistance. And the last pair is Euro Yen. Uh, I just wanted to show you uh, the whole idea behind this trade because one, some of our trader members took it and which uh, with a nice profit. So I do it quickly. On the weekly chart, we have uh, this uh, support zone. Yes, on the uh, we also have trend line here. Yes, if we go to daily chart, this is of course our weekly trend line. If you go to daily, we could draw this trend line here. Um, this trend line here, of course, with the false breakout, not easy to spot. But after trend line breakout, if we look for the four hour chart, we had this beautiful long one to three 
for our chart, our classic approach, first setup of the trendline breakout, entry, stop loss was around 80 peps, back to weekly trend line, 200 peps. Right now, some traders have like 560 peps. Uh, we don't, of course, we won't get every time those shades. But again, if you follow your trading plan, you just, you just do it. And at some point, you will really catch this trade. So you see with the 80 pip stop loss, even if you trade stop loss below 36 EMA, this is still 450 pips. So it's, it's how much? It's like uh, uh, three, five times bigger, yes? Or even more, yes? Uh, six times bigger, yes? So really, really good uh, risk reward. Also this, yes, weekly trend line, 230 pips, stop loss 80. So this was, this was uh, okay, yes? Um, and we love this, love those trades. But of course, if you if you pay attention, this pair was impossible to, to trade over this period. Yes. So simple. Yes. You if you see pairs like this or price action, you don't you don't see clean dire direction. You just don't don't trade this. Yes. But suddenly, if you start to see that we have again volatility, that price is is going somewhere. Uh, you you just take the action together with your uh, trading plan. And right now on the Euro Yen, uh, you have exactly the same like on the GBP Yen. Um, yes, we are on the resistance. Uh, let me delete this trend line. This might be trend change, by the way, yes, because our weekly trend line was uh, was broken. So maybe we'll have a bigger move again. Yes, we are on the resistance. Yes, we have another resistance here. So what we can say, okay, we might give possible re retracement. Yeah. Uh, so uh, we can look for the lower time frame entries, uh, or we we just okay say for our chart retracement we look for buys on the lower time frames, or if you have enough room to 36 CMA on the four hour chart, yes, you you can say okay I wait for the one two threes here, and I trade uh, in the retracement. Yes. Okay, guys. So. Uh, I hope we'll have exactly same week like last uh, like last week. Uh, so prepare your charts and take the action together with your trading plans. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to to contact us. Uh, and of course, uh, see you uh, next week. Bye.